Now, what does a typical day as a freelance music therapist look like for me? Well, as I've already mentioned, that I'm a registered blind person, so I work with an assistant who not only helps me on the visual side of the clients, i.e. the body language, facial expression, eye contact. She also helps me in terms of setting up my equipment to prepare me for the sessions. As a blind person, I have to get taxes and I'm on a government scheme who pay at least 70% of the taxi fare for me. So, my assistant and myself will load the car with the equipment. After we've loaded up the car, we'll perhaps travel an hour to a residential home, then unload the car and set up the equipment for a music therapy session, which might last an hour or an hour and a half. Then in the afternoon, after we've packed up the equipment, we'll then travel to another home and do exactly the same. And, um, and then I'll go home, probably with a little bit of a headache, but I'll write my reflective notes out. Hi, I'm Narissa and I'm called Music Therapy Assistant. My role entails two main responsibilities. Firstly, as Carl mentioned earlier, I provide him with the visual elements that I find clinically relevant for improvisation and singing. Secondly, especially during group time, I provide one-to-one -one interactions with the clients. To achieve this, I use an approach that is informed by affective attunement and unconditional positive regard. Following Carl's lead, my role and my goal in general is to create a nurturing environment that allows the clients to explore their emotions in a meaningful way.